What is up guys, now I'm going to actually show you how to gain access to the dungeon of Ara. Now the first thing you might need to do is get on the bottom left hand side of the island, the Cursed Shore, which is like the level 80 area, I'm pretty sure like it's the only level 80 area. Now once you get there, now you're going to have to start getting all these waypoints, so just in case, uh, try to find some areas where it's not taken over or will never be taken over um, because a lot of them are contested so when you die which probably you might die a couple times when you first get there when you die you have a place to actually waypoint to now when you get to the town that's like on the left hand side of the dungeon you see like the big old stairs to, to the epicness you're gonna have to do these events now the first event that's probably gonna spawn is protecting the town or getting rid of the risen that's in the town already because none nobody on your server is really doing any of the events to get to the dungeon now after you kick out the risen there's gonna be an event that's gonna spawn to the north and you have to pick up a bunch of scrap metal to build a big cannon to the quest giver now it's pretty much self-explanatory you pick up scrap metal you give it to the quest giver and he big big cannon and then you go and defeat the risen now everything is on a timer so you have to make sure you kind of do this pretty quick especially if you only have a small group of people because you might have to split now after this scrap metal event you're just gonna be two events that spawn one actually during the scrap metal event but don't worry about that because that one is the one that's bugged now the one to the south is the one that's bugged it, it Pretty much you defeat all the minion waves, all the risen and everything like that, and it still just stands there the whole time. Now, um, I don't know if it's bugged for your server, but it's pretty much bugged for mine. So what I recommend doing is going to the north and defeating that event. Pretty much you just have to escort someone to an area to get reinforcements uh, just in time. Remember, everything is on a timer, so you have to be quick. So after you complete the north one, go down to the south one to see if it's working. If it's not working, don't worry. If it fails, it's all right. Um, I don't know exactly what it helps in the assault, but the assault is going to go on anyway, regardless if you fail that mission or not. Once the timer goes down to zero, the assault will start. And now you're assaulting the first steps to the dungeon. Now, the first thing you got to do is defeat that champion. Now, the second thing, I have no idea. I really have no idea. We failed it the first time we did it. And actually, this, that was my second time failing it. The third time, the charm, and I get it. Um, we always defeat the champion, but we do not know what to do with the second bar. The second bar is, we have no idea. It never goes down. Um, regardless of what we do, we kill everything around, we defeat all the, the trebuchets and everything like that. What we did is actually ran up to the dungeon and kill stuff and for some reason it spawned. So if uh, nothing works, I recommend just running up to the, the last steps of the dungeon and trying that out to see if it works for you. Now you're almost there, you're almost there guys. Now you have to do like a capture the flag event or protect the circle, king of the hill type deal, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you kick the risen out of the circle and keep holding the circle for a long period of time. I recommend watching for those eyes of Zaitan. They are evil. They pull you in two seconds, no matter how much armor you have or buffs. Like, I, I, I just, <laughs> you have to range those. You have to. I, I just, that's the one thing I, I kind of just don't like about uh melee it's just that melee does not work when it comes down to tough enemies like that you just kind of have to have to sit back and kind of range it i mean yeah you could kind of try to tank the damage and yes you cannot dodge everything you only get to dodge twice now are you ready for epicness are you really ready for epicness i wow this guy uses both of the great swords legendaries what yes you're gonna get to see it in action right now First he uses the sunrise, which is like the light sword, and then he uses the twilight later on in the last few minutes of the boss fight, and he goes nuts. He starts spinning around trying to kill everyone, and everyone was kind of dying, and we were all running around trying to revive everyone, but yeah, it was a serious boss fight. It, it, it took us a, quite a bit to beat him, and it was pretty epic to see such a big character like that wielding the legendary sword, which I want so much. And one day, one day I combine them and create the ultimate great sword. But anyways, after you poon this little nub that's holding your sword that you want so much, then you gain access to the dungeon. The dungeon is finally there. Now you can test your wits against Zaitan. 
Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish you luck against Zaitan. And I'll see you guys later.